Okay, I've got one of these before. I'm gonna hate watching myself back <laughs> after this. I am comfortable, yeah. I think I'm happy. Focus on the camera. Okay, yeah. In yeah. In <laughs> okay, let's do this. Callum is my name and Callum. it's important that I introduce myself like that because for someone who has a stutter, their name is usually the most difficult word they can say. We believe it starts with fear, which then leads to freezing in the diaphragm, which then leads to stuttering. When you're speaking, people can only see the tip of the iceberg as opposed to all of the psychological stuff underneath at the bottom of the iceberg, which is the invisible part. I remember always being told in my school reports that I should put my hands up more. And the most frustrating part was I did have so much to say, but I would rather people think I didn't know the answer to the teacher's questions. Something that really stands out to me is when my math teacher asked me for my name in front of my whole class and I got really nervous. I just couldn't say Callum, Callum. the teacher said. He can't even say his own name and made a joke out of it so that everyone would laugh, which is really why I want to make this video to raise awareness about stuttering. Yes. Was I smiling or was I looking very stern? Was I, I was stern, wasn't I? So it seemed that absolutely everyone else can speak fluently, but I couldn't. Because I was embarrassed about my stutter. It wasn't something I was actively looking at online or speaking to my parents about. I'm not sure they actually were so aware of how much I was struggling with it. The time that I found help with my speech, there was a documentary on TV for a programme called the Maguire programme and that's something I signed up to. I walked into the room on my first ever day and every single person had a stuttering. I could completely relate to them. Callum speaking. I studied and passed an exam three, almost two, a year ago one, to become a coach and, three. and I'm now the youngest in the world. The youngest on the world on the Maguire programme. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, not the youngest in the world <laughs> ever. <laughs> I've got eight students of my own who I help. They call me up and we practice. Callum speaking. Hi Dave, are you there? Dave Madder speaking. Can you tell us what you get out of having these chats with other <clears throat> people that stutter and how that helps you? It inspires me to know that I'm not uh, alone in the world. Tells me that uh, I'm not the only one. Bye for now. Bye for now, Callum. I went back to my secondary school and held a session at the teacher training day as I really wanted to teach the teachers about stuttering. And it's really important that people know in society that one in 100 people have a stutter. And celebrities include Ed Sheeran, Kendrick Lamar, Stormzy recently opened up about stuttering. I don't want to miss anyone out, but there are loads more. I would say to my younger self or anyone that has a stutter, please don't be embarrassed of it. You haven't done anything wrong. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm happy. Anything else? Nothing else. It's a wrap.